On your computer, on your smartphone, on your Wi-Fi radio. We're localwebradio.fm. You're listening to This Week in Real Estate with Lance and Connie Marples from Sutton West Coast Realty. Here's your host. Hello, I am your host, Nick Jaworski, and I am here with Lance Marples from Sutton West Coast Realty. We'll be talking with Lance about investing in real estate, how to choose a good investment property, and what kinds of profits can be made. Now, before Lance joins us, just a reminder that if you have questions or require assistance, you can reach Lance and his wife, Connie, by telephone at 604-538-8888 and on Facebook at facebook.com slash Marples Marketing. Lance, it's great to be talking with you. Great to talk to you again, Nick. All right. Now, we know that real estate investments are are popular. People want to invest their money into something that's going to give them value. But we also know that there are going to be risks. And so how do we determine a good investment from a bad investment when it comes to real estate? Well, real estate investing is something that's as individual as the person investing. There's lots of different ways to do it, and there's lots of different goals that people have. Some people are looking for a long term, you know, something stable that's just going to provide income over a period of time. Maybe it's a retirement income they're looking for. Others are looking for something that's going to turn around quick and in the next two to five years it's going to increase in value dramatically and potential for development and all those kind of things. So hmm. you have to sit down and, just, and first of all decide what it is you want to achieve out of your investment. And then from there, then we look at different types of investment. It's in that kind of analysis that enables us to really go out and find the right thing for you. Um, White Rock is, is a great place to invest for more of the short-term development type stuff. Mm-hmm. Other areas are better if you're looking for a house that you want to buy and say rent out and have it pay itself off to somebody. The renters will pay the mortgage over the 20 years, and then you've got a great asset there that will continue to provide income. Now, if if our listeners want to invest in in a revenue property, what are the kinds of – I'm sure there's lots of them, but what are the kinds of things they should be considering? Well, you want to look at, you know, um, what's your aversion to risk? Mm. You know, how how much do you want to gamble? It's – it's one of those things that some people want to be super safe, and real estate's great for that because you simply don't lose uh, on value. The property values just consistently go up, so hmm. that's great. Really what you want to do is then say, okay, can I uh, support subsidizing the mortgage to pay for this thing, or am I looking for something that's going to be revenue neutral or possibly revenue positive? And in that way, it doesn't impact your day-to-day life, but it just moves along. And there's a really great group here in Canada called the Real Estate Investment Network. They've got a fantastic program showing people how to get in with little money. Um, you know, you still need investment to get down, but in, and where and what communities to buy in. When you're buying that type of property, you need to do an analysis on the community. Surrey yeah. is the number one city in BC right now, uh, one of the number one in Canada uh, for investing in real estate because it's such a growing community. Again, thousand people a month move to the city um, month in, month out, and have been for years, and wow. it's projected to grow another 250,000 people in the next 10 years. Wow. So if that's a great place to put your money. Right. So you always want that because if you're looking to have a rental property, you want to know that you're going to have tenants and the Mm -hmm. pressure on tenants, competition for rentals helps drive the revenue, the the rents up so that you know that you're going to have not, not only good revenue, but you're not going to have vacancies, which really hurt. Yeah. Okay. So what are the kinds of things that people should stay away from? We've talked about why you might want to rent there or, or the kinds of places you want to be, but what should people know that they should stay away from? Well, you would really want to make sure that you're in neighborhoods that are, are positive. Mm-hmm. You know, people get into, oh, there's a really cheap property here. Let's go out and get after it. Well, there's a reason that it's cheap sometimes. You know, is there a sewage treatment plant down the street <laughs> or is there something coming to the area that you haven't done your research and found out about? You know, is there a highway coming through here where you're going to have trucks rolling past, past shaking the house on its foundations? Right. You really got to 
do the due diligence. You want to get uh, get together with an experienced realtor who understands this stuff, and then you really want to do your due diligence. What are the areas? You know, what are my goals? And then make sure that that neighborhood fits that. I mean, there are areas where you know we have problems with there's um, grow ops and crack houses, meth labs, and those kind of things. You want to know those kind of areas right. that you want to stay out of because that's one of the few areas where property values can actually dive. So you really got to pay attention. Now, where would somebody go to get the information? You talked about a highway is going to come through. Is that somewhere? Is there a place someone could go just to get a sense of, of the future of that neighborhood? Well, Surrey and Byrock both, and mostly Surrey, has great uh, access to city documents. You can go and see if there's any developments coming to the area. What are they? Mm-hmm. Is there a huge commercial development coming in that's going to affect your values positively or negatively? Um, there's lots of areas in the city and people to go talk to, um, but mostly you really want to get together with a realtor because we have access. We're in that business. We hear about what's going on, right? Um, and you really just want to have some expert opinions there on how to uh, analyze a, a property and know where that you're going to get your best returns and the most uh, increase in equity. All right, that makes sense. Now, we've got to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with Lance Marples from Sutton West Coast Realty. And when we return, we'll be discussing buying real estate as an investment and what kinds of returns can be expected. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. More This Week in Real Estate after this. Are you dealing with a health issue you would love to resolve? Would you like to restore yourself to be healthier and more invigorated? The naturopathic doctors at Ocean Park Natural Therapies want you to know that you can be helped. There is no limit to what they treat because they don't treat the conditions or the disease. They treat people, not diagnosis. For more information and to book your appointment, call 604 538 3017. That's 604 538 3017. And visit them online at www.oceanparkhealth.com. Take control of your financial future with Sound Investing with Byron Stryloff, Senior Investment Advisor and Chartered Financial Planner with over 30 years of experience on the Business Channel on localwebradio.fm. If you're struggling with a dental or oral health issue, be sure to catch the Healthy Smiles Oral Health Show with Dr. Norm Ickert on the Health Channel on localwebradio.fm. It's time now for more This Week in Real Estate. All right, and I'm back here with Lance Marples. Now, Lance, if if we're purchasing real estate as an investment, what kind of returns can can we expect? Well, typically the cap rate, which is the capital return on your uh, overall investment right now in this area is 4 or 5%, which is pretty low compared to what it used to be 15 years ago. But the capital appreciation is where the money is really made. So Mm. your property is breaking even at best. And in South Surrey, it's not even doing that. You're subsidizing it. But where your investment dollar is coming is that, um, again, prices on the slope. Uh, Lots that I was selling sold a couple for $800,000 a couple months ago. I'm now at $850,000, $875,000. So it's that capital appreciation that you know, you're really going to get in the short term. If you're looking long term, and which is a great way, you know, anybody can get into this. I re- highly recommend this real estate investment network, with RAIN for short. Hmm. They provide every step of the details of how to rent, how to screen for tenants, how to find areas, because, you know, it, it can be expensive here, but there are areas in northern BC, Dawson Creek, Fort St. John, huge infrastructure development programs going in there, pipelines, gas reserves, those kind of things. There's high pressure for rent up there. You can still buy properties for a fraction of the cost here, but the rent returns. So 
are there so that you're going to be cash neutral or cash positive. Mm -hmm. So that way you can go out, you get a little equity, and you go out and buy a property. You're going to hire a property manager. He's going to look after it. Being a ten being a landlord is not for everybody. Right. You know, calls in the night, dealing with you know <laughs> excuses about why rent's not going to be paid, all those kind of things. You have to assess whether that's something you want to be involved in. And uh, but hiring a proper manager, build that into your system, into your calculations, and just then it's a worry free investment, pretty much. Yeah, that sounds great. Now. You're the expert, and we're talking about investments in real estate. And are there any final thoughts that you have related to, to this whole topic? More millionaires are created out of investing in real estate than any other thing there is. Wow. It is a great way to build long-term family wealth. Huh. Uh, real estate just continually goes up. It's not something that somebody in New York can play with and manipulate. Uh, values are always there. B.C., Surrey are great places to invest in real estate. It's growing. Um, we have a constant influx of new people coming here, keeping pressure both on the cost of property but also on rental incomes. So it's a great place to invest. Well, that's that's great. Sign me up. And it's been great talking with you today, Lance, and hearing your thoughts on real estate. And next week, we'll be talking with your wife, Connie, about buying strata property. So that should be should be interesting. And of course, if you, the, the listener, can think of someone who might benefit from what we have talked about here today, go ahead and share this podcast with them. Make them millionaires with you. They'll thank you for that. And you can always reach Lance and Connie Marples by telephone at 604-538-8888 and online at surreywhiterockhomes.com. Lance, thanks so much. Thank you, Nick. and Have a great day. You've been listening to This Week in Real Estate with Lance and Connie Marples from Sutton West Coast Realty. This high-energy team brings their extensive real estate experience and keen eye for local market conditions to every transaction, ensuring their clients achieve their real estate goals, whether buying or selling. Call Lance and Connie Marples today at 604-538-8888. That's 604 604- Five three eight 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 eight, and visit them online at www.surreywhiterockhomes.com. Local stories, local voices. We're localwebradio.fm. This episode is a production of Jam Media. For information on hosting your own web radio show, visit jammedia.com. That's www.jambmedia.com. The opinions expressed by our guest and host on localwebradio.fm do not necessarily reflect the views of Jam Media or its owners. No expressed or implied opinions of any product or service should be considered an endorsement or recommendation of any kind by Jam Media or its owners.